Hi, this is Stefano from uh, Lab School. My motto is less chat, more action. That's why we jump straight in the tutorial. Today we're gonna see how to install Joomla, but Joomla 1.5, although they have already released version 1.6. How do we install version 1.5? First of all, we need a domain. And once you have a domain, you will notice that if you go to the domain, it will point to an index of. What we need to do is just to add slash cpanel. Adding slash cpanel brings you directly to the cpanel where you can upload Joomla and at the same time create the database for Joomla to populate with the data that you need. First thing to do, then we go to the legacy file manager in the cpanel has to show the hidden files and also to assess the web root. Then press go. Once we are inside, we're gonna go to upload file on the top here and we're gonna choose our Joomla 1.5 that at this point I have on my desktop. There we go. As we upload, I go back to the C panel and in the C panel this time I'm going to go down here where there is a dolphin that says my SQL database. I click on it and this allows me to create a database. Normally I just call this one Joomla and create a database and then go down here where it asks to create a user and here I also call this Joomla and then I type a password. If I don't know what password to type, I'm gonna click, I'm gonna click on the password generator. However, this one will create a very complicated password whether you write it down somewhere. In fact, they also ask you to check that you have copied this password somewhere. And then you can use the password. I've already copied this one and I create my user. Once you have created your user, you will see that um, here at the bottom of this page, you will see add user to database. And here I will add one to the other. They are both Joomla. I will click all privilege, so make sure that all of them uh, can be done and then click make changes and go back. Now that I've created my database, I go back to my file manager and in the file manager, I see that Joomla have been uploaded as a zip file. Then I click on it on the right hand side of my uh, legacy file manager, I will see extract content file or actually extract file content. I click on it, it extract all the files from the Joomla uh, folder, from the Joomla zip. I always check at the bottom here that I can see index.php. If there is index.php, it means that the zip haven't been truncated during the unzipping. So everything is fine. I go back to the file manager. I click one more time on public HTML here on top. And there you go, it shows me all the files and the folders included into the zip of Joomla. I trash the Joomla zip, I don't need it anymore. And I click delete file. Here we go, we are ready for the installation. I go back to the front page, I refresh the page. And there you go, it brings me to the installation of Joomla. I choose the language, English in this case, and I click next. After next, I click next one more time and one more time after the license. Here, in the basic settings, it will ask me to type local host. And then it will ask me to type my username, the one that we have typed before. In my case, it's Joomla. And the password, the one that we copied. And then again, the database. Again, is your domain, underscore, whatever uh, database or username you have set before. Then press next. Here we'll ask you if you want to connect via database, no, uh, via FTP, you say no and then go to next and you're done. You just have to decide a name for your website, uh, your email address, your uh, password for the administrator. It tells you clearly here that your default username will be admin. So bear that in mind for the next step, type whatever password you want here. Here we go, go to the next page. It tells me that it hasn't installed any sample data. I don't want them. It asks me to remove completely the installation directory. There you go. I go back to my C panel then, to the legacy file manager, click on the installation folder here. Click on the name of the installation folder. No need to click on the folder itself. So it displays the properties and I click delete this folder. When I go back to 
my uh, Joomla, it asks me whether I want to connect to the site or to the administration. Click site and there you go, I am on the uh, front page of my Joomla. I have successfully installed Joomla. Now to access to the back end, here after the URL, I will just type slash administrator and press enter. It will ask me to log in. As we've seen before, the username will be admin by default. You can change it later. And then your password. Press enter and we are in, we are in the back end. Now, in order to change my username and password, I will go to user manager right away. This is always the first thing I do. I click on administrator. I type my full name here or whatever other username you prefer for yourself. I don't need to change the password right now. I press save. Now, I will, I'm gonna install my favorite component, which is called K2. It allows you to create content that goes beyond the, the strict structure of section categories and content that Joomla normally force you to follow in version 1.5. So I'm gonna go to extension and I'm gonna go to install, uninstall. Inside I will choose the package. Package file will be K2, press open, click upload file and install. It will take a few seconds and it will install this very powerful content uh, management uh, plugin, uh, getk2.org. That's pretty much all for today. Thanks for your attention. You can carry on uh, uh, checking out our information on lab.edu.sg or on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash voxlabsova or on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash labschool. Thanks for your attention.